Karma Lane full flat doctors in half an hour. There's an emotional confrontation for Patrick Jane as a traitor is unmasked on The Mentalist tonight at 10.50. Now the serial killer's cover could soon be blown on Shortland Street. You're embarrassing yourself just to wind me up. He's finally got the message. Okay, so you've lost me. Kieran! Oh, he's... He knows he has to court me properly. Our little chat was just another game, wasn't no, it? No, Kieran, I, I... Forget it, Libby. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. What have you done to me, Libby? <laughs> Take away. Thanks. Careful, it will break. What? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You okay? Yep. Actually, uh, no. I'm a little bit confused. Would this have something to do with Libby? <laughs> How did you guess? Here is me, thinking we're just getting things back on track, and yet right now your lovely but apparently fickle sister is through there dining with Sunil. Are you serious? I thought it was just a one-nighter. Yeah, you and me both. She is not into him at all. She told me it's only ever been about you. And if she's acting crazy, I can guarantee you it's to get your attention. So the games continue. Ignore her. What I do. Thank you. Special delivery for a Mrs. Yvonne Jeffries. Don't keep us in suspense now. Some naughty online shopping purchase. A gift from a secret admirer? Hardly. Can I do worry about you being all on your own. Mm, snap. No, oh, except I'm perfectly happy and I've got oodles of time. We can't say the same for you. <laughs> what is it? You have to tell me. It's from Lachlan. Some of Brenda's things he wanted me to sort through. But why? Brenda was my friend. I'm just helping tie up a few loose ends. It's part of saying goodbye, I suppose. Hmm. Two words. Tragically morbid. Don't you have work to do? Yep, I'm going now. Please, I was just leaving. Thank you. I hope the flowers were to your liking. Oh, they were beautiful and very large and very anonymous. I thought it would be obvious who said them. Last night was something to remember. Well, they haven't taken out orders yet, so perhaps we should do this. Karen. I don't believe we ordered champagne. No, it's on the house. The Ivy team has voted you today's most romantic couple. I certainly wouldn't argue with that. And champagne is only fitting for the most beautiful woman in the room. <laughs> hmm. Would you care to hear today's lunch specials? Please go ahead. Well, the fish of the day is pan-fried snapper. But I believe you two lovebirds would be more interested in our shellfish option. Fresh, succulent, Pacific oysters. Oysters? What do you say, Libby? Oysters for two? I'd say that Sunil keeps me happy with or without oysters. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to ask me about our room rates. I'll come back when you're ready to order. You know, I think I would like some oysters. <laughs> Ascites, by the looks of things, probably caused by tumours in her abdomen. And it's rough. Should I walk on for a CT? You bet. Now, the mass is quite large, so I'm guessing it's been there a while. We're talking full bloods and paracentesis to drain it. This sort of thing drives me nuts. Early detection, she would have been fine. Well, she was probably scared. My grand was like that. She never wanted to go see a GP because she was afraid of getting bad news. Yeah, but even so, you think somebody would have taken her to a doctor, friends, family? Do you mind if I take care of her? Suit yourself. Hi, Patsy. I'm Joey. I'm a nurse. Oh, and I'd kill for a cup of tea. Well, that can definitely be arranged. Let's do a blood test first, and then I'll go get you one myself. I'm, I'm not very brave when it comes to needles. You've got nothing to worry about. I'll take extra special care. You know what? You remind me so much of someone I used to know. Would you like some more champagne? No, thanks. Oh, you have to go back to work, of course. I hope your meal is enjoyable. Oh, delicious. Yours? Excellent. I meant what I said, by the way. You're easily the most beautiful woman here. 
We really don't need to say things like that. Hey, you're an extremely desirable woman, Livy. You should celebrate it, not feel shy about it. Already, I'm quite fond of you. Well, look at the time. Chris will be expecting me back. Oh, let him wait. I must get to know everything about you. And while I'm doing so, I'll see to it that you have whatever you wish. <laughs> Starting with dessert, something very decadent, I think. Room service, eh? Someone's giving me special treatment. Thank you, Joe. Righto, Patsy. We're going to do a procedure called paracentesis. Basically, what that involves is draining the fluid out of your abdomen using a needle. It'll be worth it because it's the fluid that's making you feel so uncomfortable. So if we can drain it out, it'll feel a whole lot better. And it'll be a lot easier to breathe, too. Oh, all right. Good stuff. Now, you just finish your tea there, and then we'll get started. You know you did the right thing by coming in. It won't be too late. I'll make sure of that. Everything okay here? Yep, everything is just fine. Hey, Fancy, just fine. There's my daughter. Hello, love. How are you doing? All right now. Should be even better if you brought her in earlier. Could have prevented this one. Everything's going to be fine. We're just organizing a scan now to see what's going on in there. You must have noticed she was sick, though, surely. She seemed fine. We'll have a much better idea about what's going on shortly. The doctor's just about to run some tests. Why don't we go and have a sit down? Don't worry, Patsy. I'm going to take very good care of you. Hello. Hello again. You look busy. I was just about to get myself a cup of tea. Would you like me to bring you one? Thank you, but I should be heading to theatre. Freeze, both of you. It's okay, you're not in trouble. The hospital advisory board has wrote me in to help with an Asian health service. Not really my specialist area, so I thought who better to help than you two? That sounds great. It will be, especially for the new immigrants. The rate our Asian client base is growing, it's time we address their issues. This is perfect for you, Dinesh. He plans to run a medical centre in India one day. Oh, right up your alley then. Yes, absolutely. Good. I take it you'd both be interested? Definitely. But as much as I support the idea, I really don't think I have the time to get involved. Oh, it's hardly a big commitment, pointing the old patient in the right direction, some cultural advocacy work. This is an excellent opportunity, Dinesh. You must take it. I'm grateful to be considered, but no. Will you excuse me? Well, it's nice to see at least one staff member willing to go above and beyond. Thank you, Shanti. 